right, I believe we are live, babe. Let's do this. We're back. We're back. We are back. We're back. We're back. Okay. All right, babe. Oh. Uh Hello, I'm Mrs. Melanin. And I'm Belief Mel. And we're here with episode 50 of How, How Married, Married Are You? you? Confetti, throw the confetti. Episode 50. How does it feel to be 50 episodes in of your podcast, Yvette? Nicole. Why are you using my middle name? Good. Feels great. Feels great. It was wonderful. Well, I'm glad to be doing this with you. This is, this is good. I like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're the Henrys. Yes. <laughs> My we name are. is Yvette, and his name is Glenn. Glenn. Uh, but I actually go by Belief. Um, I used to rap, and I we have a YouTube channel called Belief in Fatherhood. Belief in Fatherhood is videos just about how great it is to be a father, how challenging it is, and we post those usually every monday and wednesday however we've been on a hiatus for some time um i don't want to stress out and die <laughs> um and so i decided to take a break and it was very challenging because you know what i'm saying um it's just challenging because you think sometimes people won't come back and watch you you know they might forget about you and i'm just i'm over having that fear uh, but anyway, my grandfather passed away and so I decided to take a break because I missed him and I love him and, um, I wanted to take some time. And so we're back here with our podcast, How Married Are You? 50 episodes in, and we start the episodes by doing something called Chocolate Baby Story Time. Are you ready for Chocolate Baby Story Time? I'm ready for Chocolate Baby Story Time. All right, boom. It's Chocolate Baby Story Time. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a story. I just have an observation that I'm excited to see come to fruition. Do tell. But um, Uriah and Anaya, their relationship with one another, mm. it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but like they could be the best of friends <laughs> and they could be the worst of friends. But I found myself today very much so entertained by their fighting. Mm. Like, I just was, I was just like, I'm not even gonna step in because this is just entertaining. And mm -hmm. I love watching them fight and bicker and then be all in love the next minute. But they are the sweetest. Their relationship is just really cute. I love it. I never thought that anyone would actually follow Uriah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting to see yeah. her like just kind of do did it, did yeah. it, did it. you know what I'm saying follow along you're right I'm like that's not the one yeah <laughs> you're supposed to be following you know what I'm saying um yeah so if he's like if we're all walking somewhere and he just finds a butterfly and wants to chase it, she's like <laughs> she chases chasing him. the butterfly you know <laughs> And then sometimes she gets really irritated. Like, I'll be like, Raya, stop. And then she goes, Raya! <laughs> Just screams. Um, but a uh, chocolate baby story time about Uriah Bo is we went to parkour the other day. And he said that he's shy. He doesn't want to be doing the parkour because Levi hasn't been going to class. And he's no longer in a class with his brother because his brother's six now. And um, he was crying. And, like, the coach was like, come on, Uriah, you want to be a part of it? Um, and Uriah just was kind of sitting there like up against the wall and just like I, he just kept saying I'm shy mm. and I noticed it on, from the like video camera the like, you know how they have the surveillance mm -hmm. and so I noticed it and I was like trying not to intervene mm -hmm. because I was like the coach needs to figure this out oh like you weren't in the same space as them you no. were just watching this on yeah and okay. I just saw him sitting there and I'm like we don't pay for this dude <laughs> to just sit here yeah. you know what I'm saying so after a while, the coach like tried to get him to come on two more times. I went in and I just was like, hey, what's going on? Like that, and he's like, I'm shy. And I'm like, I don't care, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, if you don't do this, you're not gonna be able to do all the things you love to do at the house, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So don't think that you could just sit this out and get, get through it. And he just, he just started to cry. I was like, look man, like you make the decision yourself. Either you can do be a part of this thing right now and enjoy yourself or you cannot and then you know we'll have to deal with it later mm -hmm. you know i was like but you make the decision 
he kept walking back and forth and he was like but dad i don't want to do this and i was like i understand but you always have fun doing it and you don't need to be around levi or your brother you have to do this because this is what you know you wanted to do mm -hmm. you know and so it took him a couple times and then he just kind of started and then after that like he just went, went on a roll and he came over and he got some water and i was like man i'm really proud of you for going up there and, and being involved and doing your thing and he was just like thanks dad ran back <laughs> after the class he was sweaty mm -hmm. and like he had so much fun and it was just really cool to see all that mm -hmm. so yeah that's chocolate baby story time mm -hmm. words of affirmation words of affirmation all right so words of affirmation is an opportunity for you guys to call in and let us know um just let us know what keeps you listening to the podcast how are you being encouraged by the conversations that we're having um yeah and so you can do that in several different ways mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do that by calling in on the anchor app or there's actually a link now in the show notes that you can just press it and it'll take you directly to how to record your message to us or you can send us a dm um via instagram with the voice memo feature that they have now or you can call in to our um voicemail where our number is 760-335-6643 again 760-335-6643 yeah so. we've been loving the words of affirmation we love to get to hear your voice and uh thank you guys so much for continuing to do this it really helps us keep on keeping on and yeah let's go ahead and hop into these words of affirmation Hey Henry family, this is Dio from the DMV area. I just want to let you know how much you have helped me personally. Like there are times that I'm just like, my husband is not getting me this parenthood thing, this mother. To the beach, y'all, it get don't stop. A freak freak, y'all, it get don't stop. A to the beach, y'all, it get Not don't stop. This parenthood thing, this motherhood thing, this journey is tough. And then I just pop in, put my headphones on, listen to one of the podcasts. It's gonna be a new one, an old one, and everything is like you're not alone in this. Sometimes you and hubby will not get along but you and this together and it makes me come back to him and like and have a different perspective than what i would have had if i had would have just gone straight into arguing with him and not trying to come up to a good solution so i want to thank you and may god continue to bless this ministry you have started and that's how married i am And we are back from words of affirmation. Thank you so much for those words of affirmation. Really means the world to us. Yes, thank you. And uh, let's go ahead and hop into this topic, babe. I'm going to let you lead it because this is your podcast. It's our podcast. Stop saying that. Anywho, um, I don't know. It's been on my mind a lot just this life we're living and how unusual it is. Very unusual. And, and go okay. ahead. No, I was going to say very unusual and very unpredictable. Yeah. It's just unorthodox. There's so many different words we could use to describe it. But um, yeah, I don't know. And I guess the reason it's been on my mind is because I feel like um, Glenn is starting to be seen on <laughs> TV screens around the world. <laughs> And so I'm not sure like what people are thinking about that necessarily, like thinking about him and his success, because like while our faces or his face might be showing up a lot more, that doesn't necessarily mean that we are um, as popping as we would love to, <laughs> would like to actually be. We So we want to be popping. Not. No, no, no. When I say popping, I mean like as paid. Like, the, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. All I'm trying to say is this is an interesting life we're living. Like, this is just so weird and just not what I pictured, you know? And I'm not saying that I'm disappointed about the way that our life has turned out. 
I am just saying I'm caught off guard and I'm wondering like, are we like, you know, what am I wondering? I'm just wondering, I guess I'm trying to like really protect my heart and what, what, in and, what way? What and are you like saying? Honor my motives behind okay. some of the things that I do or okay. say. Because for me, I I strongly dislike phony people. Where and is this going? I don't know. <laughs> this isn't going. What I'm saying is how I'm perceived online. How I'm perceived via whatever like whatever i allow people to see i'm really like i just want to i want it to be known that it's consistent if that no. makes sense or i because sometimes i get like comments from people or dms from people and they're super sweet and i completely appreciate them but it's like how well do you really know me you know? They don't know you. Exactly. Yeah. And and I I, I don't know. I, I feel like they do know you. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes it's so accurate. It's like, oh man. And then people like you guys, I'm talking to y'all now. Y'all, I actually do feel like the prayers. Do you ever just feel the prayers? Do you ever just feel covered in I do. prayer like when people say like i will sometimes get random dms that will be like i i've been praying for you or i woke up this morning thinking about you or i had a dream yada 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 and it's like whoa like and i feel like it's a strange thing because it's like i've never actually been in contact with some of these people that i talk to on a regular basis who share things about their lives and we engage you know but I feel like there's a relationship there, but it's strange because it's like, I don't really have a relationship. I don't know. It's just a weird space to be in mm. because sometimes the relationships feel super one-sided where we get to put our lives out there for others to engage with, but it's not like a, it's like, not like we're a mutually engaging. Yeah. Know, it's not reciprocal. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Well, I, f I feel this like I have so many thoughts on this because I'm often I often have to like reset myself and just be like, OK, this is who I am and yeah. this is who I know I am yeah. and this is who they think I am. Mm -hmm. But that ain't really all me. But this right here is the people who I don't like don't know me at all who have an opinion about me, mm -hmm. which is completely false. And then there's like. Uh, you know, these people who know me, know me, mm. but feel like they're not getting to know me because mm. they have to consume the content in order to know me. Mm -hmm. So then like, it's so many different layers. Like I feel like I'm, I'm walking through. Mm -hmm. And so I, I do understand you because there's a, there's a complexity um, when someone is an admirer. Yeah. Um, and I feel like, I honestly feel like there's a group of people rooting for me. Mm -hmm. Like, like I feel like, um, you ever seen Gladiator? No. <laughs> Gladiator is this amazing movie, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it stars, uh, gosh, why am I going blank on this guy's name? I, I see his face. I just don't know his name. Yeah. Um, let me let me figure this out real quick. quick. Um, real quick. <laughs> Uh, who's the daggone dude from Gladiator? What's his name? His name is uh, Cast. Cast. Russell Crowe. Okay, so Russell Crowe is like this underdog who you know ends up like you know leading this group of like um, you know uh, kind of rugged men or whatever to success in this battlefield and then he ends up being like the one and people are like Spaniard 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 and it's like this um, amazing thing and I feel like there's like a rise to a cheer mm. you know what I mean and part of me is like I, lo I love like the underdog coming up like I don't ever want to be too big I don't ever want to get to that point and then I feel like what business is is it of mine 
what other people's opinion, but like what, what their opinion is of, of me. Like, so e even if say we stay at the same level or we grow or we get smaller, whatever it is, what business is it of mine? What people think of me, whether good or bad. Like, I don't think that is any of my business. Like my business is to continue to do what God has put in front of us, you know? And when I start to think about other people, it starts to make me like kind of weary of success mm. somewhat. Mm -hmm. um, and so people's perspective or perception of me mm -hmm. would I feel like it's starting some, some people are like all right when is this gonna stop you know what i'm saying like this is enough like um you know when the commercials and stuff like that are popping up and stuff like i feel like there's a, sm a small group of people um who are kind of like all right we gotta the downfall's coming soon you know what i mean and that is irritating to me but it's like it's really none of my business mm -hmm. you know um the other day i tweeted something and you're not on Twitter, so I kind of run amok on Twitter. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not who you know me to be. On, <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter, I'm somebody totally different. So what did you say? I said, Lord, I said, it feels good to tithe four digits. Oh my goodness! And literally, I was the dude that was like sitting back. And like get my little pennies together and I'm I'm like, I got a hundred dollars and I gotta give ten. And I'm like, Lord, this gotta grow. I was like, you know, I'm gonna give my ten. You know what, Lord? But you know, why don't you bless me some more? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> you know that eventually if I had, you know, this much money, then I would I would tithe it. Mm -hmm. But it was I always wondered if I ever got to the point where I was tithing mm -hmm. that much money, would I really be excited to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And there was a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, coming at me like, oh, man, like you're not supposed to say anything about this. Or, um, you know, the, the one dude said uh, the pastor finna have uh, a Land Rover with tenant rims or something, <laughs> you know, tenant windows and rims. And I just was like, man, like, no, really, like. I am really glad that I get to give this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that is amazing. Um, but I, I, I do understand that this life is definitely uncertain, mm -hmm. especially with the, the changes coming to YouTube. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't know, changes are coming to YouTube in, in uh, less than four months. They're going to s switch up the guidelines and how they, um, monetize family channels and channels that you know pertain children in it and so um the adsense is gonna go away mm -hmm. pretty much um they say they don't really know how it's gonna affect family channels but but anyway i'm sorry i derailed you yeah <laughs> that's what happens when you got an outline i know i'm sorry stay ready you ain't gotta get ready okay here we go again um but yeah i guess i just I just, I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I, I, I like, you know, I, I, I can't wait to show you guys some of the things that are happening in the house. We did a couple upgrades, nothing too big, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like a big boy, mm -hmm. uh, but we had in, 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 this is a future episode of Belief from Fatherhood, so you're kind of getting a sneak peek or a sneak, uh, I don't know what you're getting, <laughs> uh, but you know, you we we had a, a a designer come here, interior designer, mm -hmm. and she suggested some things that we get for the house. Mm -hmm. um, and we we kind of had a little spat, mm -hmm. and I feel like you. I feel like even though this life is amazing, your your security is still at risk. Mm -hmm. Like you don't feel secure. In what way are you talking? So, like, um, the interior designer was like, yo, these are the things you guys should get. And the numbers were high. <laughs> well, she gave us a... So, she presented us with a high, medium, low, um, like, two, three different rooms. For low the wasn't room. Ikea. <laughs> low was higher than Ikea. 
Well, three different rooms. Well, the same room, three different ways, you know, with three different budgets. And so, yeah. Yeah, because I was thinking like, man, if we go to the middle of TJ Maxx in the back, we might find some of this stuff. <laughs> and Yvette was like, look, we could probably, I don't know what that was. Um, oh, that was freaking Alexa, man. Chiming in. <laughs> Babe, hurry up. We only got nine minutes. Okay, listen. Eight so, um, yeah, like. Yeah, and so I was sitting there like, man, like, let's see what the numbers are like. And you said, babe, I don't feel like you are rooting for me or something like that. Do you remember? Mm -mm. You were, like, wanting to, like, uh, mm -hmm. get the stuff. And I was mm -hmm. like, well, let's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just heard the numbers. Let me <laughs> at least dream about it. Like, can I? And you were just kind of like, give me the card and let's <laughs> swipe that joint. No, what happened was is that like I just saw you swiping the card for this room. And I know that like this room and for me and that's another and I think that's something too that I'm having trouble kind of navigating through as well. Because this room, like your productivity or whatever is valuable, like is important to our livelihood. Like if you can't be productive and put out content or whatever, then we don't get paid. And so I wasn't like, there was no hesitation on my part for you spending money on this room. Like if you said I had to buy something, then you had to buy it. Like it's just what you needed in order to do what you got to do. And so then when you told me that I could get an interior designer to help me figure out the home, it's, it's supposed to be, it's, we're calling it the multi-purpose room because it's like the homeschool room slash playroom slash just lounge room y'all gonna see it it's not that <laughs> big of a deal but I anyway um so yeah we he basically he was like well because i'm like i want to buy this i want to buy that i want to get this place together and he's like well can i get an outline of what you're going to get and how much it's going to cost and whatnot and so forth and i was like and so basically the interior designer gave us exactly that it was a beautiful spreadsheet the items the measurements the cost where to get it from everything and um and so i was trying to get those things together and he's like well hold up like and it was just all of a sudden he wasn't as quick to spend money on stuff i'm as... never quick to spend money let's get the facts straight okay that is. i'll right. look out something i'll look at something for a month before i swipe very true however you have been getting a little quicker <laughs> well sometimes when i got momentum i'm just kind of like all right okay so anyway um what was i saying yeah, so anyways, that room is kind of serving as the multi-purpose room. It's the homeschool room, the playroom, and the, like, let's just lounge room kind of situation. And so for me, I was feeling like I need that room to be really put together so that I could feel like the our homeschool year is put together. Like, I wanted it, I really wanted it together before we started homeschool, but that just didn't work out. And so... The longer it's, and the, also the other thing about that room is that all the kids' toys are in there. Yeah. And so our kids, you know, kids are kids, but our kids usually do well when they know where things go. And so right now it's kind of like, where does this go? Just in the middle of the floor? Yeah. It's in the middle of the floor. And we still have like a couple of boxes in there from having moved in. And so they're now just like, the toys that I did kind of organize are now just all over the place, mixed in with everything. And so I don't know. It's just really it's important to me for that room to get together because I feel like it's going to also bring order to um, what me and the kids have going on situation. And so I feel like it's just as important as Glenn having his workspace together and all that. And so I want to. Why would you do that? Glenn's over here pulling off band-aids. That is horrible. I didn't know it was that bad. Ugh. It's gross, guys. It's disgusting. I was out there doing yard work, which I know <laughs> I have on record somewhere that I don't want to be the guy out there doing yard work. I have allergies. And I'm out there tilling the ground for freaking grass. Okay. And I got a scab because I didn't use gloves. I don't know how to do this. I grew up on Section 8. <laughs> what? Go. <laughs> Go, babe. And so what was there? Why did we start talking? You brought this because up. Because I felt like I was like, we got into a tiff about this life. And it just turns out like I was like, yo, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's mm -hmm. just hold on. Oh, And yeah. then what happened? 
we got so, hit up. Oh, Glenn. And that's the other thing. It's Don't like, say the name, but go ahead. I know. But it's kind of weird, too, you guys. Like, this life, it's just weird because, um, and I feel like this, what Glenn is bringing up right now, I feel like this was kind of the Lord's way of revealing to me that, Yvette, like, I see you. I see the desires of your heart. I see you. And I'm going to take care of you through this life that you're living. And so what happened was a company reached out to Glenn for a brand deal. And they just so happened to be a furniture company, y'all. Mad furniture. <laughs> a furniture company. Yeah. So they want to give away, they want to give us free furniture. And they want to, on top of that, they want to pay Glenn to do like a, to produce content for that. And so I'm like, Won't what? he do it? <laughs> And I'm sitting there like, see, you trying to spin up all of our money. Mm. And mind you, I had at that point, I did have I did already spend some of the of our money, which I if I would have waited a little bit, I wouldn't have had to do, which I'm not really bummed about it or anything. But I don't know. It's just weird because it's like, well, and I've had people on like online, like share different things with me. And they're like, you should reach out to this company and see if they'll just give it to you for free. And I'm like, what? That's just not who I want to like. Yeah, like be. I don't want to be the person. Pay for it. Yeah, just let me pay for it and give it to yeah, me. Yeah, that way I don't owe you anything, or I feel like. Yeah. And it's just it's just different, and so this is like one of those like, this is a privileged conversation, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like this is a very privileged conversation we're having. A lot of people are like, this is foreign. Like you got to do what and you get what. Shut up. You know what I I'm know. Saying? And then for me too, for the longest time, I was like, <laughs> people like all of now I'm starting to get more companies that'll like hit me up for stuff uh, because my following on Instagram is a little bit more, but they'll be like, we'll give you this if you just say whatever. And so for me, I do want to protect my voice. Like if there are people who are influenced by my voice, I don't want to use it in vain. Like I don't want to just talk about something because I got a free product or yeah, they're paying me to fibbing. do it. I want to actually really enjoy the product. And so anyways, there are some things that um, I do kind of, I'm like, wait, I really do want want that. Yeah. <laughs> but Glenn's like, you don't do anything for free. You don't do stuff for free product. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, I don't know, but yeah. So this, what, what we're, what we're experiencing in, in this stage, um, is like man like we really enjoy i honestly feel guilty for enjoying like mm -hmm. some of the stuff that we get to do you know what i'm saying yeah like yeah it's interesting because we just got back from disney world and we were shooting a commercial with them and um we were like the main actors or the kids or in glenn were and um they had extras and some of the extras, of course, had to be kids. And I'm just listening to these little kids talk. And I'm like, man, this is something that they actually aspire to do. Yeah. Like they aspire to be a Disney actor or actress. And our kids are over here just completely ignorant to the fact What's that... What's a Bambi? <laughs> no, but they're just completely ignorant to the fact yeah. that this is actually a really cool opportunity and experience that you're getting to be a part of. And they're like, man, like we had to wake up pretty early. And these other kids are all like, oh, my gosh, I'm yeah, here. We, I get to act today. And my kids are like, are we done yet? And you might see one of the mother kids <laughs> forehead on the screen. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, like yeah. They, like you, know you won't even you, see their face. You might not even be able to see their faces. Yeah. So it's just weird. It's very it's weird. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't even know how to talk about it. It's like my friends. Like, even with my friends, sometimes it's a little bit weird to say, like, it's just weird. It's yeah. uncomfortable. It's just weird. <laughs> That's yeah, all I yeah. can say. Yeah. And I think I don't know what the solution is. Like, at first, mm -hmm. like, OK, we need more influencer friends. But I don't really think that's the case because yeah. some of the influencers, you know, are, uh, you know, who we've met, you know, this is not throwing anybody under the bus, but like some of them like really aspire to be influencers you know yeah. what i'm saying and so i feel like with our goal i feel like it's so focused like we really wanted to help people who are in relationships with this podcast mm -hmm. like 
feel normal about what you're going through like mm -hmm. here's a transparent truth about how we're dealing with this situation mm -hmm. and with fatherhood and belief in fatherhood it is very much an honest perspective of what i'm going through as a father not trying to glamorize it or make it look pretty for the gram yeah and so i'm in that weird space again and i feel i'm glad i'm not alone alone this time but i don't feel like i fit in yeah i feel like i belong here like i know i belong where i am but i don't look like or feel like other people feel you know what i'm saying the crazy thing is i don't feel like i fit in anywhere with the influencers or with like my peoples you know what i'm saying like, yes i don't when we do get to interact with other influencers i feel like they're so far ahead of where we are yeah um and then even just with my friends it's kind of like i don't even know how to talk <laughs> and explain how i'm feeling about certain things it, and then i'm sorry i was just gonna say fortunately they try to get it <laughs> yeah our friends are really understanding yeah and they try to understand um i i do feel like though there is a like everybody's everybody who was an influencer is feeling the same amount of pain stress irritation frustration like we're all kind of freaking out mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like if you talk to them um relationships are hard you know whether it be spousal or um you know like a distant family and, and other family like there's it's just so much going mm -hmm. on you know what i'm saying um but maybe it's just that season you know what i'm saying like that season of life we're in mm -hmm. like you know like oh maybe maybe that's maybe that's not true mm -hmm. but i no i feel like it's true like relationships are tough during this period because career children you don't always say mm -hmm. that but then like to add to the influencer side there's a level of like Oh no, I talked to this company today. Like I talked to Google today. Mm -hmm. Like you talked to who? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. no, I re I have a I have a Google guy. If I have an issue going on with my SEO, my search engine optimization, then I'll just call my Google guy and you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. no, who has access like that? I even like be that? looking at you at the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who, who do you want to phone with, babe? I got a meeting with YouTube. I'll, I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> oh, you're on the phone with YouTube? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. And so, not that we're ungrateful, but I don't know how to feel. And I don't or know. Or you're how. in documentaries with. Oh, you. Oh, we can't talk. I don't want to talk about that. About, I'm not. I'm just saying, like. Really? Wait till. Hey, he hey, real quick. Let me, he doesn't let me. I was going to shout him out on Instagram, but he's like, no, babe. Yeah, I want to no. tell the patrons real quick. Let hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, sorry. Bro. Yo, yo, big news alert. Big news. I'm not going to tell y'all right now, but I got big news coming that it's just good news, guys. <laughs> big news, guys. It's coming. It's on the way. But for now, you get nothing. Okay. Yeah, that was whack. Patrons get to find out first. I'm going to tell them the whole school. They're going to get a video about it and all that. Okay. All right, anyway, yeah. So, so how, so are we, we probably should end this podcast, but. Okay. I think, so here's the exciting thing. We are actually going to be having um, more of a conversation about kind of navigating through our life, like living this life publicly and as influencers um, with another couple that I think you guys will be excited about. Yeah. I'm not sure when that one's going to come out, and I'm not even sure if it's going to come out on our podcast or um, no, it's going on, on theirs. theirs, but we will definitely make sure that you guys have an opportunity to listen to it. Um, I'm really excited about that conversation. Yeah, me too. So stay tuned for it. But here we are just living our lives as they are, however that looks. Okay, and, and, and just real quick. Okay. I think the real thing is that it's harder than it was before. What do you mean? Like, yes, mm -hmm. like it's not so much that like I can't enjoy it, but it's actually harder to do because the perspectives, just the perception, 
the amount of responsibility, the amount of income, the amount of not income. You know what I'm saying? Like we're in a weird, like, you know how you try to grow out your hair? You're trying to grow out your fro. You know what I'm saying? You're like, I'm going to get dreads. But then you got to go through that real awkward stage where your hair is this long. You can't twist it. You can't do nothing with it. That's what I feel like we're at. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're preteen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we haven't got our beard in yet. You know what I'm saying? We got acne on our face. Our voice is kind of doing this weird thing. We're getting erections in the middle of the class. What? It's just awkward, guys. It's yes. just a weird Why? season. And so, though, uh. we're like, oh, we might be able to fit the big boy pants soon. But right now, we still wearing tiny whiteies. <laughs> <laughs> We are still wearing tidy whities and we're hoping that nothing happens to our pants and someone's gonna see that we still wearing the white underwear to slingshots. Okay. Those are that was a lot of um analogies for you. Yeah. I hope one of those worked. <laughs> Babe, how married are you? Babe. <laughs> I'm still married that the other day I had made breakfast for the kids and then i and well that morning glenn was at the office have we told them about the yeah, office i told them about the oh office my gosh. well whatever glenn was away that morning and so um i had finished making breakfast for the kids and then i had finished making breakfast <laughs> and then glenn walks through the door <laughs> as exactly as i was about to walk myself to the table to sit down and eat my breakfast <laughs> but then i was just like here you go babe <laughs> really wow that was my breakfast and then he was like did you know i was coming and i was like no <laughs> i thought she was checking my location i thought you were like my husband oh my home. gosh y'all i was so ready to sit down and eat and oh i'm so sorry but i just gave him the plate and turned around and made my plate because i wasn't sure what time he was going to come home and I did intend to make you breakfast, but it was just like, oh, well, that timing worked out. So now I'll just yeah. make my plate. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah. That's a good one, babe. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. It's okay. How married are you, babe? Um, Babe, I'm proud of you. You went to go do your little speak the other day. Speech. Mm. It's not little, but it's it's a big deal. You spoke in front of how many women? I don't know. It was too many. A hundreds. I would say I wouldn't say hundreds. It's probably somewhere between a hundred and one fifty. All right, maybe 100. a lot of people. Yeah. My wife um, spoke, and she apparently she killed it. But we don't have any video, so but she killed it. Um, and so she told me what time she was going, but she didn't <laughs> tell me what time she was coming back. <laughs> and so I was left with the three oldest and. I thought she was going to be gone maybe an hour or two. Really? Just an maybe hour? Three, maybe three. Maybe mm. three. But um, <laughs> I just kept looking at my clock. And I didn't like text her or bug her or anything like that. I just tried to keep busy. You know what I'm saying? I cleaned the bathroom. I did the dishes. I, I did something else. Oh, I, I broke down a bunch of cardboard and you were working in the garage you know um you know straightening out the garage so we can get the car in like i just stayed busy and i knew those things were things that she would appreciate and she does it all the time mm -hmm. when i'm wherever i am gone or just in the office and so yeah i just you know took care of business while you was taking care of your business <laughs> Thanks, you know? so i'm excited for you to get more opportunities to speak are you excited? I don't know. It's weird. Someone, um, when I got off stage, she was like, it's like a, uh, what did she say? Like, I don't know. It was basically her saying like, it's bittersweet, huh? Like you get super nervous, but then it's like an adrenaline rush. And then, cause I think they could see me fall into it. Cause I was like super nervous when I first got up there. Did you say that? Huh? Did you say you were nervous? Well, when I got up there, I was like, okay, y'all, I made it to the podium. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I said. I was like, uh, uh, I made it to the podium. So we are here. Let's do this. The, the clock went on. I was like, oh, shoot. I lost 10 seconds. I got to keep talking. <laughs> Start oh, talking. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, so it was it was really it was an interesting experience. It was nice. I definitely was expecting it to be a little bit more intimate, like maybe 50 women. 
so it caught me off guard and i didn't expect to be on a big stage i thought i would be like you know just yeah. really cozy um and so that was interesting but i was super nervous but the more i spoke the more i fell into it and the more the lord was able to just move so um it was a cool opportunity I, I don't know that I would turn down another opportunity. Like if someone invited me, I would probably yeah. accept it. I think I would like to practice. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. And that's, that's just, just how, how married, married we are. are.